VCU defeats Richmond in A-10 semifinals. With 46 seconds standing between VCU and its fifth consecutive trip to the Atlantic 10 Tournament Championship, Justin Tillman's dunk, giving the Rams a 9-point lead over Richmond in overtime, reverberated throughout PPG Paints Arena. Senior guard Jaquan Lewis added three free throws as VCU took down Richmond, 87-77, in the semifinals Saturday. As VCU fans usually preaching havoc fell quiet, Lewis hit a three-pointer from the corner to tie the game at 71 with 25 seconds to play in regulation, forcing overtime. Quite frankly, that three, you could see it. You could see it, said VCU coach Will Wade, who liked his team's chances once regulation ended. They were going to have to hit a crazy shot in regulation to beat us then. If they didn't hit a circus shot in regulation, I felt good. Trailing, 57-51, in the second half, forward M.O. Ali Cox forced a turnover, and Samir Doughty scored six points in a row as the Rams gained ground. A layup and two free throws by Tillman put VCU up, 61-60, with 5.35 on the clock. Standing alone under the basket, Ali Cox dunked before Richmond's Nick Sherrod and DeMonte Buckingham responded with layups to tie it at 64 at 2.59. Tillman slapped down Sean D.R.E. Jones' shot and Lewis sprinted down the court for a layup to tie it at 68, but Sherrod responded with a three-pointer with 35 seconds to play. Lewis, who led the team with 18 points, wanted the responsibility of the Rams' final shot in regulation. I had shooting in my mind before the play even started, Lewis said. I wanted to put that on my shoulders and I felt like my teammates wanted me to, as well. With Richmond guard Quan Four at the line in overtime, Ali Cox waved his arms, begging for more noise from the majority black and gold crowd as both of Four's free throws bounced off the rim. Layups by Ali Cox and Doughty put the Rams up, 75-71, and a jumper by Tillman gave the Rams a 77-71 lead with 3.23 to play as VCU pulled away. The Rams had 56 points in the paint and were at their best, Wade said, when driving to the hoop, as Richmond forward and A-10 player of the year T. J. Klein got into foul trouble late in the game. We probably shot more mid-range jump shots in the second half than we've shot in the last month, Wade said. We kept shooting all these terrible shots. VCU defeated Richmond twice in the regular season. The Rams are chasing their second A-10 title and an automatic bid to their seventh straight NCAA tournament. VCU will play Rhode Island 12.30 p.m. Sunday at PPG Paints Arena in the championship. Rhode Island defeated Davidson, 84-60, in Saturday's semifinal, after Davidson had knocked off no. One seed Dayton Friday. Rhode Island beat VCU, 69-59, in the regular season. It's going to be a physical game, Ali Cox said. They play gritty, we play gritty. They out-toughed us the first time we played them, so we've just got to master physicality and keep them off the glass because they got the best of us the last time we played them.